genre pour l'impossible. Et si tu peux le trouver, alors, euh, tant mieux pour toi. Et tu verras que tout est résolu lorsqu'on se passe des choses superflues. Alors tu ne t'en fais plus. Day. Um, I didn't end the vlog last night because I was so tired and I had a really bad headache which I think is because I didn't drink enough water yesterday. It was self-inflicted. Um, so I came home and went straight to sleep. Had about nine hours sleep and I feel better today. Uh, we should have been flying home today but we extended our holiday by a couple of days. So we're not going home today which is lovely. We're actually at the Riviera Resort and we are going for breakfast at Topolino's which is a character breakfast. Obviously not how it used to be. They don't come to the table but we should get to see Mickey and the gang and try a new restaurant in a brand new hotel so I'm very excited. a lot of food. Salmon, waffles, steak, hash, quiche. There's a lot of food going on. This is the terrace outside the restaurant and it has the most incredible view. It's gorgeous. Wow. So over there you've got Hollywood Studios and you can see Animal Kingdom over there as well. And then behind us is Epcot.
if you come out of the Riviera this way towards the skyline and they have all these incredibly beautiful mosaics. So there's a Rapunzel with all the lanterns. And over there there is a Peter Pan one which I'll show you as well. We are now arriving at Epcot. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. Okay, I'm back in the room. I look a bit of a sweaty mess, so please disregard that. Um, factor. It is um, almost four o'clock and I uh, we went for the breakfast, it was lovely, we went with two of the girls that we were here with, Karina from Chasing Childhood who makes all sorts of sparkly incredible goodness like this lovely bracelet, I can hopefully you can see, uh, she very kindly gave me, these are three Alex and Ali bangles and then one of her bracelets, she makes amazing things. Um, and then Louise who's another girl here on the trip, there's a whole bunch of girls here that me and Claudia have been spending some time with which has been lovely. So we went to Topolino's and it was absolutely incredible, probably my new favourite breakfast on property. Um, right now obviously it's Covid times so you can't really do character meet and greets um, but Disney have done a few different things to sort of allow you to engage with characters characters but um, from a distance and they have like parades and cavalcades and things um, and sometimes characters sometimes characters like pop up in various places and you can meet them but this breakfast actually felt quite normal um, you didn't have to wear masks obviously when you're sitting at the table and um, you got really good selfies and the food was incredible so it was a set price I think it was $42 um, so that's a soft drink and food and um, basically you can order whatever you want um, you're not limited to like one entree we all had like two each and then shared something um, so we had great food I'm not gonna be hungry for the rest of the day like it was incredible food really really great and the characters were amazing so I highly highly recommend Topolino's Terrace at the Riviera Resort um, for their character breakfast and the food was so good that I imagine that dinner would probably be great as well now I'm back and I'm gonna just sort out some of my stuff because I'll be honest with you I've bought quite a lot not just for me like I've been buying for some of my friends back home that have asked me to pick them up stuff I bought gifts for people and my boyfriend and stuff so um, I've acquired a lot and I need to figure out how to pack it tomorrow morning when we wake up we will have two nights left um, and those two nights we're spending at the Polynesian Resort with Disney so I'm really excited for that because I love that resort so much and it's gonna be so nice to round off our trip in a Disney staycay so I wanted to come back to the hotel and um, sort out my stuff a little bit and pack it and figure out the case situation I just wanted to sort of figure it out now and establish how bad the situation is so I thought whilst I was doing that I might show you some of the things I bought because the chances of me filming a sit down video when I get home are very slim so I'm going to talk you through some of the things I've bought whilst I've been here so obviously it's the 50th celebration and I am a sucker for a usable bag so I've bought quite a few of these this is the large size the Disney World 50th the world's magical celebration and on the back it's got the park icons and some of the characters and things we know from the parks I bought some of these in the large size and then I've got some in the medium so each size is different um, this is one size of the medium and that's the back. I do also have some small somewhere but I haven't come across them yet so I'll show you them when I get to them. Um, at Universal I only bought this t-shirt. This is a grey Back to the Future t-shirt. Um, I bought this thinking either I will wear it or my boyfriend will wear it if he likes it. Um, he made me watch Back to the Future for the first time um, last year and I really liked it and then we went to see the musical together. I bought two of these, these really cute little dog collar um, accessories. I bought one for my dog Bertie and one for my friend Alyssa, her dog Kronk. I acquired I think three of these at the festival yesterday. They are little figments box, but they were really cute and I got a couple for some friends. This is going to be an issue to pack. Um, I'm going to figure this out but he is so cute. He's also for my boyfriend. He was the cause of a lot of stress yesterday for a lot of people because there was a very long wait for him all day but he is amazing and I love the strap because it has all the different figments in the 50th anniversary and in the back there is some rainbow popcorn which apparently each one is different flavours so I've not actually had any of this yet but I might actually utilise some of that space in there for packing. <laughs> but this is the 50th soap dispenser. Um, this is for a friend. I'm actually going to debox it and pour the soap away because the box is bulky and the soap is heavy and takes up a lot of 
Um, weight allowance, and will probably leak, but if you have one of these, they pump out a foam Mickey, and um, they're really, really fun. I also bought two of these t-shirts for friends. As you can tell, I've done a lot of friends shopping, um, so no one's been able to get here in a while, so I'm more than happy to grab stuff for my friends. Um, this came out while I was here, and people have been like going crazy for it, so it's been hard to find, but it is the Adventurers Club t-shirt. I went into Sugar Boo today, which is one of my favourite shops in Disney Springs. They do all sorts of cute, like, little trinkets and things. And I bought this pouch for myself, which I totally don't need. But, bibbidi bobbidi boo as we know, I am fairy godmother obsessed after working in the boutique. So, I had to get this. Birthstone jar crystal for Alyssa, my best friend, who um, has... At the time of me filming this, in January 22, there was the TikTok gems and crystal trend online. If you know, you know. If you don't, don't even bother looking into it. But this made me laugh and reminded me of her. Her birthday's February and she loves her birth crystal. So I just thought that's a cute little gift for her. You know how creased this now is, but I bought this top for myself, which I absolutely love. It's my favourite colour. It's like a soft mint green. And it has an old style, the Magic Kingdom logo. This just came out as well while I was here. So I picked this up and I absolutely love it. I'm really, really pleased with this. It was quite expensive for a t-shirt. I think it was... 36 ish dollars um some of the new design some of the new style t-shirts that are a bit like vintagey kind of have seem to be around that price but i just i love this one so this was quite a big purchase for me this is the beauty and the beast tapestry woven throw um it was 75 dollars and i have wanted this since before i worked in disney world one day i'm gonna buy myself this throw i'll buy it when i feel like i've like and it sounds silly because it's just a, it's a blanket, but um, it's the stained glass design that's in Be Our Guest. And I remember the first time I went to Be Our Guest with my friend Amber all those years ago, if you watch those vlogs from way back then, um, I wanted this throw because it just reminds me of the restaurant and the amazing experience I had there. And I was like, one day I'm going to buy that for myself when I have like earned it because obviously it's an expensive thing to buy. And I've just never bought it. I think I should have bought it on my CRP, but I just didn't. And then, and then they haven't had it for a while and they didn't buy it. So I saw it this trip and I was like, Do you know what, I'm getting it. This blanket is coming home with me and it's going to be difficult to pack, but it's going to be worth it, I'm sure. I also have some shortbread. Um, I bought this for Alyssa because she loves shortbread and I thought this was really cute. The little Mickeys, and I've seen some people have this before and say it's really good. Bomber jacket. This was an impulse buy. Claudia bought one and I was like, Do you know what, I really like this. I'm going to get it. It's the world's most magical celebration with an embroidered Mickey, 50 years. And I just thought I've got nothing like this and I do really like it. I'm not sure how much I'm going to wear in England, but maybe in Disneyland Paris um, if I do get to go this year. It's so nice. It, the quality is amazing all of this is embroidered it's really lovely i love that the colors of the castle are kind of the pre makeover colors it's just really lovely um it was expensive it was 90 dollars, but it's absolutely completely gorgeous and i really really love it i have this cute little figment he's one of the magnet ones um so you can pop him on your shoulder i bought this for my boyfriend because he loves figment i also have some pins um, as well. I bought these for him too. Um, so you've got one for each park for the 50th. So you've got BB-8 for Hollywood Studios, Figment and Apricot, Tinkerbell and the Castle, and Simba and the Tree of Life. So I also bought myself this pin. I was said I was going to like chill out a bit on the, uh, the pin collecting front, but I couldn't resist this one for the 50th anniversary with Mickey and Minnie. Little Epcot trinket tray, which I really, really wanted for ages, and then it sold out, and I've never seen it anywhere since, and they had it in Epcot, so I grabbed one of those. And then, this was the first thing I bought. I bought a pop socket, uh, $20, but it's just so cute. It's iridescent, it's rose gold, like, there you go, you can see it. Two of this pop socket, one for my boyfriend and one for a friend. It's figment, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, there you go, but when you move it, he changes, which I thought was really fun, and I bought this at the exit of um, the figment ride in Epcot. And then we have the issue of the artworks. As you probably know, it's Festival of the Arts right now and I did some damage yesterday at the festival, again for me and for friends. So for myself, I bought this beautiful bell print. I absolutely love it. I love the characters around the outside of her and that she's reading her book. And this is The Provincial Life by Kaylee Hicks. This was for $40. This as a, I think a Valentine's gift for my boyfriend. He loves Steamboat Willie and I thought this was really fun. Um, so you've got everybody on there and I just really like the design of this. And this is the, called Steam Ray Willie, the Jason Ratner was $40 as well. I got this for Alyssa. I think her, um, her fiance is going to gift this to her. It's an Alice print, which is really fun and different. This is the uh, Magic Tunnel by Fenway Fan. Then I got this Jessica Rabbit, which is what Alyssa is going to give Mark. Uh, this is called Jessica Rabbit, drawn this way, and is also by Jason Ratner. 
and I really like this one. I'm not really a Jessica Rabbit or Roger Rabbit sort of person, but I thought this one was really, really fun. And then I couldn't resist this little Mickey. I got this for Sean, my boyfriend. He loves Mickey and all different types of Mickeys. So I thought this was a really fun postcard. Uh, it was $6 and it is Mickey Through the Years by Chris Umninger. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And then I also got this for my friend Mark, which is the Toad coming out of Toad Hall. Um, and it was actually signed by the artist as he was there, uh, the One Wild Toad, and this one was $50. I also bought myself this Starbucks tote bag. I have the Disneyland one of these, um, but this one, I just loved it because it is the 50th and I thought the colors were beautiful, the pink and the gold. I love the 50th on this. Um, and it's just got so many fun things on it, like the trash can. Um, I just really, really, really loved this. I love tote bag, they're so practical. So um, I grabbed this as well. And I think, let's see if there's a price on this. I'm not sure if there is, uh, $28. And the last thing I have, I think to show you is this Thomas Kincaid stunning Beauty and the Beast canvas. I just loved it so much. It was $50, comes with a certificate of authenticity. And I just, yeah, this is like a pride and joy piece for me. I adore it. I'm really grateful to have this. Okay, I feel like I've made good progress with the packing. Um, not as awful as I think. It's just gonna be the getting in the toiletries um, in here and then um, filling in as much as I can into my carry-on. Put on um, some biker shorts and this like big white shirt, which I've already creased, which on the back has a Mickey. And I'm gonna head over to Epcot to go and catch the Broadway show for the day. And then I'm gonna go meet a friend for some drinks um, who is somebody that I was friends, I am friends with who I worked with on the cruise ship. So I'm gonna go do that now. Um, the weather is weird, so I've gone for this shirt because I think it will keep me cool now and then a bit warmer later because it's gonna get a bit chillier again in the evening. <laughs> the show it was really good and I've just done a bit of a walk around the world yeah. showcase picked up this spirit jersey for the festival um because I decided that I really wanted to get it and now I'm just about to walk out of Epcot to go meet a friend at Coronado Springs for I think I just said that really weirdly Coronado Springs for a drink um, I'm excited because I've not been there since they opened the new Destino tower thing I've just found the chalk paintings on my way out in the room it is five past ten um, I'm really sorry that I feel like today has been a really rubbish vlog but it's been a bit of a weird one um, we did the breakfast it was amazing like I said I came back to the room sorted my suitcases out a bit still a bit of a struggle but I'll get there um, went back to Epcot watched the show which I just made in time so it was really great to see that and then I actually just spent a few hours at Coronado Springs and um, saw the new tower which was beautiful and had some drinks at the bar that's kind of on the water uh, with my friend Tyler and his fiance. Um, Tyler was my best friend on the ships when I worked on the dream so it was so good to see him because it's been about two and a half years since I last saw him. Just had the best time catching up and reminiscing on cruise line times and everything and it was lovely and now I'm back in the room I'm gonna finish sorting my stuff out. All I really need to do, need to do today is get into the cases but I'd kind of like it to be organized so that I can spend my last couple of days um, not worrying too much about the suitcase situation. Um, so I'm gonna get in as good a place as possible and uh, my camera died as I was talking. Um, 
yeah, so I'm sorting my suitcases out so that it's not too stressful over the next last two days that we have here. I can't believe we've only got two days left. I felt really sad about it today, but I tried to focus on how grateful I am that I've been able to come and be here and have a fantastic time. It's always sad to go home, isn't it? Especially when you're going back to a freezing cold country, as we will be. On the way back, um, so we're going to sort our stuff out, and then tomorrow we have um we will be checking into the poly for our last two nights which is really exciting and it'll be a lovely way to end this holiday um but it is supposed to rain tomorrow which is a bit sad uh we have ohana booked for dinner in the evening we were gonna have a pool day but that's now looking like it's not gonna happen um because of the weather i'm gonna reassess the situation and then we'll see but we are checking into the poly tomorrow and we're both very excited claudia's never stayed there before um i've stayed there just the once I think on my program and I love it it's a beautiful resort so I'm very very excited to go I'm gonna go and sort myself out and get ready for the evening of winding down getting ready for bed and finish looking at this horror of suitcases oh oh I have one more thing to show you I caved and I bought the spirit jersey I love this one I love the sort of creamy very 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 soft yellow color I love figment he looks so cute and I just love all of this down here it's so me it's my favorite festival so it just made sense to get it and on the back it says make a masterpiece today and I like that this is quite small this bit but I just love it so I got this treated myself and that should be it now for the shopping for me uh, I'm gonna round off today and uh, I'm not sure what we'll see tomorrow because of the weather and the rain and the changing of the hotels but I'll bring you along for what I can but yes see you tomorrow good night Oh my god, I ended the vlog and I just realised I don't think I included the bum bag in my haul. Um, I bought the bum bag, I showed you this in the vlog, but I just wanted to remind you about Bumbelina the bum bag. Um, one of the best things I've ever bought, she was, I think she was $30. I've never been a bum bag person before, but I just had this epiphany on this holiday and decided that I needed one. And it's actually so practical, like I love the tie-dye anyway, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it at home. Um, it does come with a long strap too, um, as well as the actual like bum bag, fanny pack strap, whatever you want to call it. It's got a little front pocket a middle pocket and then a back pocket with a little zip pocket inside of it and it was just so good i've only used it i think three times but it's just been so good um i have a tote bag in this and a backpack as well and i just love this design can't believe i think i forgot to show you this but anyway i'm going now good night